Now, one of the things that people have asked, several people have asked me recently, is this cherry tree, which is planted here, they asked me why I chopped this branch off like this, so far out from the trunk, and why I didn't do it as a clean cut down like that. The point being that I don't want, this could have been called something called a split leader. And I didn't want a split leader, meaning you have two main trunks that grow all the way up. The tree is much stronger if it is just the main leader for the cherry trees. You can see that has a single leader, that one has a single leader, etc. And the cherry tree over there has a single leader. So to prevent this from getting a split leader, I chop it this far out because I don't want it to bud up and I want this to die back and it'll die back within time and then it will fall off, not creating a rot that goes inside. Now I'll show you what I mean uh, with two beech trees. One where I demonstrated to someone this technique of chopping a branch off so you don't get a split leader and one where someone didn't listen to me and did it the way they thought it should be done. So this beech tree is a, of a really lovely great size and it had a branch that came out here and went out across the driveway and I didn't want it to go out there. Now if you see there is a oh, wound healed here. Okay, this is where the branch came out and went out across the driveway. It's, it's, it was lower when the tree was younger, but it was, so it's grown up the trunk to up to here. Now, when I chopped this branch, I chopped it about two foot out from the tree trunk so that it could die back of its own volition so by the time it got here, it wouldn't die into the trunk because you're, you're cutting a limb off of a tree. It's a living being, the tree is a living being. So if I cut that branch off there so that it doesn't go and do an internal rot, I would cut it off beyond this branch here. I'd cut it off right about there so that this branch had a time to die back slowly. If I cut it off flush to the trunk, it would die back down into the trunk, creating a rot. So this is the correct way because you want this kind of a wound on your tree. Now this is an older beech tree and somebody didn't listen to me when I asked them to chop a branch. This is the result this indentation here, do you see this scar? It goes all the way down here, all the way down, all the way down. Basically what happened was there was a branch about here that came out and it came out and it was low hanging all the way across here. And I wanted it to be chopped back. And I asked them to chop it out at about here so that there would be space for the dieback. They didn't. They thought it looked neater and more tidy to chop it off flush to the tree. The end result is this tree is someday not going to um, last because of this huge split that has evolved over time. Now that has taken, this was oh, 15 or more years ago that this branch was chopped off inappropriately. So this branch here was a bit better of a job. It should have been cut further away, but you'll see that now is gonna rot into the tree, creating a hole. Okay, that's a habitat, but it's not good for the tree. So you have to chop a branch at a good distance out from the trunk if you want it to die back appropriately and not end up rotting into the tree. And this is an excellent example of why you don't chop a branch flush to the tree, because you go and do an internal rot. Now, 
When you see a hole in a tree like that, you know that that tree, either by man or by wind or storm, was broken off too close to the trunk. You can see this is, whoops, this one has snails living in it. But it should have been, if the wind had broken it off, uh, it, it would still, and it was too close to the trunk, it would still die back into it. So it's wind or man-made occurred that hole in the trunk. Whereas if it was chopped off out here and allowed to die back, you wouldn't have that. You would have had a healed, a wound that healed. Like what this tree has over here. So this tree, now this tree, its wound healed it was done within days of that other beech tree. So I did this as a demonstration with it all the way out here. And I did that tree over there. I asked uh, somebody to do it for me and they cut it flush to the trunk. Now this is something that is quite controversial because a lot of people like a tree trunk to look pretty like this. But if you want it to live long and happy and healthy like this, you don't want to do what was done to that tree with the huge indentation of uh, rot inside the trunk.